back as the rain returns to South Florida. It begs the question, when it rains, how does it make you feel? The answer could be very different now compared to just five years ago. Numbers explain why the average rainfall in Miami is more than 67 inches a year. According to the National Weather Service in Miami, three out of the last five years were above that average. Last year, nearly 16 inches above it. But does that mean the way it rains has changed? CBS News Miami's Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Guerrero has the science behind our rainfall and talk to some of you about if you think things have changed. It's all South Florida is talking about the weather. It seems to get like it's getting a little bit hotter. If it's not the heat, it's the rain. It seems to be a little bit more sporadic these last few years, and it's just much more unexpected than normal. A lot of my experience also has been pretty bad, um, especially when it rains a lot. You definitely see um, on last so last year how it bad it is. Summertime storms rolling in isn't anything new. Afternoon thunderstorms filled with lightning, moving in and moving out, considered normal. But seeing entire neighborhoods experience a 500, even a 1,000 year flood, that is not normal, but it is concerning. I grew up down here, so the flooding, I feel, is uh, something new to me, especially over the last few years. That's especially true for Fort Lauderdale resident Latanya Frost. I visited her home where she told me there's no such thing as a typical rainstorm. Every time it rains, that's the very first thing that we all think is what's going on at the house. So some people have to rush back home to make sure that it's okay. Making it okay includes making sure there's no standing water on their porch and these to keep the water out. So I'm looking at sandbags in front of your front door, but there's no storm coming. Uh, that is remarkable. Tell us why you're doing this and, and what's happened that you now have to live with permanent sandbags in front of your house. Because of the rain. Yeah. I mean, it rains a lot and, you know, it's rainy season. So every time it rains, it floods here. So we have to put the sandbags in front of the door to keep the rain from getting in. Her home, just one of many affected by the historic rainfall we've seen over the last 15 months. April 2023, more than two feet of rain flooded parts of Fort Lauderdale and forced the airport to be closed for days. A little more than six months later in November, North Miami-Dade along the I-95 corridor did the same when another 14 inches came down. Then just last month, another 20 inches left neighborhoods underwater for days. Many of you asking us, is this the new normal? To answer that question, we head back into the studio. As the planet warms and the water temperatures continue to warm, we are going to experience more of these severe and intense precipitation events because warmer air can hold a lot more moisture. So more evaporation, more precipitation, and that's going to result in the kind of flooding that we've seen over the last several years here across South Florida. In fact, since 1950, 8,726 floods. Out of those, human-caused climate change caused 67% of those. As for Frost, she's just hoping for change. Just fix it. I mean, find another way as far as to stop the rain from coming in the house. I mean, because it's 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 a burden, really. Yeah. It's, it's a burden. Yeah. And I'm sure you get angry at times. So it's yeah, like definitely. who wants to deal Do with this something like all that. All the time when it's raining. Yeah, incredibly. So when we visited Latani last week, it's a sunny day. We had that Saharan air. Mm -hmm. There were no storms coming. And the first thing I noticed, uh, guys, she had the sandbags, the multiple sandbags there uh, in front of the house. So that's the way she lives now, the new normal uh, with these heavy, incredible amounts of rain that, that we've gotten over the last uh, few years here. Yeah, it's so tough. Just another amplified layer making life tough for a lot of people in yeah, our community. Uh, absolutely. And you don't need, in some neighborhoods, 20 inches of rainfall. Just, a, you know, one thunderstorm that drops two to three inches and all of a sudden uh, we're flooding here. So it's it's something obviously officials are working out, but it is just, you know, it's taking a long time. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a long time to get things back where we can handle uh, some of these storms that are continuing to get, you know, heavier and more frequent uh, over the next several years as the planet uh, continues to warm. Yeah, that's the question. Uh, is this reversible or not? So I think it's, you know, it's one of those things where we're just going to have to manage it because uh, at this point, the rain is going to continue to come and at times it will be so heavy. We have drainage issues here in South Florida, even uh, with a regular thunderstorm, but the, the problem the problem we're having is the water temperatures around us are so warm, mm -hmm. there's so much moisture that evaporates, and as we talked about there in the piece, uh, it just brings down the kind of rainfall that can uh, flood out even well drainage areas.